Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Epcot in Space 220, Walt Disney World's newest restaurant open today. And they're doing a standby line, no reservations. So we are gonna try to have some dinner and I am so excited. It might take us a couple hours, but I think we're gonna make it. Anywho's, let's go do this. I got here just about an hour after the park opened and the standby line to get in for dinner service is officially closed and they're saying that it could be anywhere from a four to five hour wait but we're here I mean I'm committed and I'm excited to try Disney World's newest restaurant and it's gonna be amazing I'm pumped just about an hour and 20 minutes in we started at the back of the line and now we are actually approaching mission space so hopefully not too much longer and i've already been told we can't do the lunch even though we got here around 12 o'clock it's 12 o'clock ish lunch is officially all sold out and booked up we are in line for dinner <laughs> and that is even better because i wanted some din din Oh boy, we are getting so close. We passed the Space 220 sign and now we are queuing up here and then we have one switch back there. So hopefully not too long. It is now three o'clock. We have been in line for three hours and we are basically in mission space and lunch officially ended at 3.30. So now we are at the dinner service and I think the line opened up again and more people have joined but it, it's, it's been a long journey and I hope it's worth it. I'm pretty sure it is gonna be worth it. I have some friends that are gonna hold down my spot for me and uh, I wanna give you guys a look at the line of people that are waiting. First, you have this whole entire crowd over here, which we've made our way to and then it's going all the way down. Hi friends, hi friends. Definitely a long, long wait. And like I said, where we are at now, I've already waited three hours for it. So like it's, it's, <laughs> Getting very intense here. Hi. Look at that. Oh yeah. I think it's going all the way back to uh, test track here. Wow. And I don't know if they're letting people in still. We're gonna find out. I mean, so if it's three o'clock now, I waited three hours and I started back there. Most of these people would be dining probably around uh, seven, eight o'clock. Once we got back to the end of the line, it is still officially open. So you can hop in line and wait it out just like I did if you wanted to. So probably uh, back there you're looking at maybe 7 o'clock to get into the restaurant. So I don't know how much longer they're actually going to keep it going because they can't stay open past the park close. You know what I mean? It's going to be interesting, but I think we're going to make it. And just around four hours later, here we are ready to embark on a space mission a mission for food and i am excited oh boy <laughs> the race to space <laughs> this looks so cool in here once you actually check in they give you a boarding pass for your adventure to space and they're all different color coded for the different zones and i'm excited i'm excited to see which one i get once we receive our boarding group, we get called to this elevator and it's basically a space elevator that's going to take us 220 miles up into the sky to the space station and it goes 10,000 miles per hour. So we're going to be traveling pretty fast to get to outer space and that's where we're going to have dinner. But on our way up, we're going to see some iconic things like Epcot <laughs> because we're coming from Epcot. Here it is. The Centurion Space Station. Depart from Earth, arrive at the CSS. We're on our way up. We're going all the way up. Here we are. Safe travels on your way to Centauri 220, everybody. Thank you. Oh, wow. If you look above, 
You'll see Centauri Space Station coming into view. Once we dock, gather your belongings and exit through the open airlock. A Space 220 agent will be waiting for you. Wow, this is so, so cool. Okay, I'm impressed already. It's kind of like an attraction inside of a dining room or inside of a restaurant. Wow. That is so cool. It was fast. Yeah? Yeah. yeah you went over 10, miles an hour. Oh, wow. Does it feel like that? I feel like it now. I mean, <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> I love it. And now we have made it to our table. And would you just look at the view in here? Look at this. It is so magnificent. It literally feels like we are just floating around in space, just as it is intended. And I think it's just beautiful. Now it's time to decide on a drink. And we're going to be doing the dinner menu here. And uh, all the drinks have like a special effect to them, kind of like Olga's Canteen is. So I'm going to have to look through it. I've seen one that has Pop Rocks, one that has cotton candy, one that has dry ice. So we're definitely going to want to get one that is kind of fancy, you know? Fun, fancy, and spacey. But the best part is definitely the cotton candy. That is too cool. <laughs> I like it. I'm glad. Thank you for the recommendation because that was awesome. It's so cool, right? <laughs> it's also the best tasting one in my opinion. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. I love <laughs> so this is going to be the Atmo Spritz and it, it looked really cool, didn't it? And uh, I'm excited to try it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, much too good. That is, that's good. Now that we got ourselves our drink, we need to start looking at what we're going to get to eat. Uh, because we're doing the dinner service, it is $79. And we start off by picking a liftoff, which is basically an appetizer. They have cauliflower and uh, calamari, which both of them were highly recommended. And then they have the star course where you have some amazing selections, but they have a space station selection where it's a little bit of an upcharge and you can get some other entrees and one of them is a 24 ounce bone-in ribeye and it's an additional $18 and I think I'm sold. I'm all in on the 24 ounce bone-in ribeye. I decided on getting the calamari and it looks so good, holy moly. It also comes with a spicy marinara sauce and uh, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna dive right on in. It looks like it's nice and crispy. You know, you don't want soggy calamari, you want the good stuff. Look at that calamari. Doesn't that look so, so good? I think I'm gonna try it plain and then I'm gonna try it with the uh, spicy marinara next. Or actually, you know what? I'm gonna try the spicy marinara first and we're gonna see if it's really spicy or not. So here we go. I will wholeheartedly tell you guys, that is the best calamari I think I've ever had. The breading is so amazing. Very crispy and the spicy marinara doesn't really have a lot of spice to it. And that's good because I really didn't want a lot of spice, but this is the way. <laughs> this is the way and I can't get over this view. Like, oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, is there a spaceman right there? There is. Where is he going? Honestly, I think I like it just on its own. I mean, the spicy marinara is okay. We can give it a little swirl swirl, but just eating it the way that it is, is perfect. It looks like there's a spaceship actually coming into orbit here. Wow. That is so cool. As you actually sit here, you start noticing different people or different things out in the universe. You'll see spaceships, you'll see astronauts, and uh, even possibly some lightsabers. Hopefully we catch the lightsabers. It also looks like they have a bar area. So I'm hoping that in the future, there might be uh, available walk-ups where you can actually just come sit at the bar because I wouldn't mind that either. Just to sit in here and take in this amazing view and also to ride the elevator is such a cool experience. 
and oh my lord the steak is here <laughs> and <laughs> it is so beautiful i mean honestly look at that oh much too good and you can kind of swap out your sides so i ended up getting some brussels sprouts and fingerling potatoes and i cannot wait to just cut into this and like having a steak with this view it's it's breathtaking actually this is literally probably one of the coolest dining experiences i think i've had in a while we're gonna dive right on in and cut into this bad boy this is a big big oh no Oh no, it should not cut like that. Oh boy. This is gonna be amazing. Holy moly. It cuts so easily. I am so happy. And this is one of the things I think you can only get for dinner time. So we really, really lucked out waiting like we did. Here we go. My first ever space steak. <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I have officially found a new number one steak at Walt Disney World, right here at Space 220, and I was not expecting this. I mean, this is absolutely amazing. That first bite, it was like just a rush of like amazing like flavors, and I, I, I can't get over it. The coffee rub is perfect. The steak is cooked perfect, so juicy, and I love it. Like I said, number one right here. I cannot wait to try all the other menu items when I come back eventually. Might not be for a while, but I'm gonna be thinking about this steak after I eat it. The coffee rub literally just seals the deal for me. Honestly, best steak at Disney right now, I can say. I know I keep going on and on about the steak, but it is just that good. And the Brussels sprouts are amazing. The fingerling potatoes are amazing. This is, this is a home run right here. I'm not too sure, I can't speak on the lunch. So like, I, I'm not too sure how lunch went or any of the other entrees, but I'm telling you what I'm eating right now is one of the best meals I've ever had, like I said, and it's definitely the best steak at Disney, hands down. Now, there's gonna be some other places I will visit in the future that might take the number one spot, but we're gonna have to wait and see. This is gonna be a challenge to eat all this steak. It's 24 ounces, but that's with the bone in and uh, just picking away at the brussels sprouts they're good brussels sprouts and the potatoes are good like i said uh but i need to save room for dessert because that's included in this as well look at all the astronauts out there looks like they're taking off and they're going somewhere beyond i really love it you got to keep your eye on constantly yo oh see i see a satellite right there too always something happening in the universe out there I'm throwing in the towel. Oh, so much food. And like I said, we still have the dessert to come. I just can't finish it. I might end up taking a box to go because that is just so good. I mean, I want to finish it, but I mean, these desserts, oh my Lord, we have a lot to choose from. They've got carrot cake. They've got sticky toffee pudding cake. I think I'm just going to get the sticky toffee pudding cake. I did pretty good, but like I said, you're coming home with me. <laughs> Those astronauts are at it again. Look at that. That is so fun looking. Oh, and they got another spaceship over on that side. I really can't stop staring out at Earth. Okay, so this is the Tommy cake with caramel drizzle. Fancy. That looks good. <laughs> Thank you. And here it is. The sticky toffee pudding cake, dark chocolate sauce, caramel crunchy pearls, salted toffee drizzle, and all of the space dreams. Kind of looks like a Milky Way. Oh, wait a second. Oh, there we go. Too bad they didn't make a Milky Way dessert because that would have been excellent. And I'm pretty sure that looks like some bananas on top there. And you know I love my, oh boy, you know I love my bananas. So we're gonna, just a little scoop C right there. Make sure we get some of these pearls, because you gotta get the pearls on there. Oh yes, you love your pearls, don't you? And right there, perfect bite. Now it's time to try it. And Kaya and Macy's dad, who recommended, who works here, 
uh, said it's probably the best dessert he's had. So I'm excited to figure that out or find that out. Oh yeah. Wow. That is too good. Much, much too good. Holy moly. So, so delicious. Now they do have like a lemon mousse, a chocolate cheesecake. They have some sorbet. They have a carrot cake. And uh, I think this is my favorite probably out of all of those choices. Like this is probably going to be the most like appealing to me. I don't like uh, the cream cheese on the carrot cake. If I didn't get this, I'd probably get the lemon mousse. But I'm happy I did get it. So I'm taking home the ribeye and I demolished the sticky toffee pudding cake. Didn't stand a chance. But it'd be nice to get a little leftovers. Like 24 ounces is a big, big steak. Like honestly, uh, and I think I probably ate a good like 75% of it. And I got a couple of Brussels sprouts and potatoes. But now I am so stuffed, so full, and I don't even know what to do. I guess I'm gonna try to travel back to Earth, try to get all the way down there. So it's gonna be a long journey. Oh my Lord, that one astronaut has an X-wing in his hand. I don't know if you can see it. Oh no, he's, he's going away. It happened so quick, but there was one astronaut who was carrying like a toy X-wing and then he just took off. I would have loved to see it, so I don't know if I caught it. It happened like that and then they were gone. So you gotta keep your eye out. Like I said, lots of Easter eggs. Now we're gonna have to take the space elevator back down to Earth and uh, hopefully it's gonna be a different scenery. There were so many cool Easter eggs inside this restaurant, like floating in space. You've seen the one uh, spaceman with the X-Wing and then the X-2 from Mission Space was floating around. And uh, I was hoping to see the lightsabers, but looks like I, I, didn't, I didn't catch them, you know? They might have happened so quick, but it's really hard. You have to be fast, you have to always be watching. Always watching. Now we're moving a lot faster to get down. Before it was a 13, 11 miles an hour up, and now we're up. Much faster now. Because it's driving. Oh. It's not that you want to get that good with it now. Your job will be a small and quick one today. So enjoy the ride. Now, as you can see, beautiful Florida below, and a beautiful Centauri Space Station above. Wow. <laughs> yeah. We're about to enter atmosphere. It's gonna get really loud. Oh, look at Spaceship Earth! That was so amazing. Honestly, like I said, best steak, the dining experience, and just sitting there staring out at Earth or just being in space. So, so cool. And now I think we're gonna do something else that's kind of really, really cool. I'm having a fun day. I had to wait a long time outside, but uh, it's gonna pay off now because we enjoyed a great meal at uh, the newest Walt Disney World restaurant. And we're about to do uh, another little adventure I'm gonna bring you on. So we're gonna head to the Yacht Club. And uh, yeah, I don't wanna ruin the surprise, but I'll show you when we get there. We have made it to the Yacht Club, and now we are gonna grab some drinks at Hurricane Hannah's, and we are gonna go on a firework cruise for Epcot Forever. How awesome is that? Now, this is a separate firework cruise, not like the one I did for uh, Happily Ever After. That was a fairy tale cruise. This is a separate pontoon boot, bo pontoon boot, pontoon boat that you rent out, and then uh, you get to have like endless snacks, no alcohol, so we have to get our own drinks and we just kind of float around in the water until I've cut forever. We have a nice group of friends tonight going out on the boat and we've got our drinks all lined up and look at that. This is gonna be a lot of fun. I am excited. We've got all of the players here. It's gonna be a fun fun evening. I'm excited. Everybody cheers. Cheers! <laughs> I've caught forever! <laughs> Alright! We're, We're ready to head out on our boat adventure. Oh my gosh. Hey, are you so like pumped? Oh, I'm so excited. Got beers in hands. Oh my gosh. 
I got a banana cabana. I mean, this is just stunning. I cannot get over the boardwalk. <laughs> oh my gosh. With the this reflection the of the part. water. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Got it. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh boy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Have a great night. <laughs> yeah, they're all fancy, fancy. <laughs> Bring them all back tonight. <laughs> oh boy, we're taking off. Look at that. <laughs> what? What's the uh, max speed of this boat? Oh, it'll go pretty good. Can we punch it? Go. <laughs> Where we're going, we don't need roads. Oh, <laughs> oh give us a little taste. Oh, oh, oh! Whoa! <laughs> Captain Ron! <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at there's the boardwalk over there. <laughs> A part of the firework cruise includes all these snacks that you see here and uh, also soft drinks like soda. So we actually brought our own drinks from Hurricane Hannah's. And yeah, I mean, there were some good snacks in here. I got some Rice Krispie treats down there, some beaver nuggets from Bucky's, some popcorn, pretzels, all the snacks that you need. Now, not only do we just do the fireworks, but we take a nice little boat ride over to Hollywood Studios and then back on over to Epcot to finish up. And it's just really cool to see it a little bit on the, like a little different like route. Like I don't think I've ever came through here on a boat, unless you've taken the boat from Hollywood Studios to Boardwalk, but I don't think I've ever done that. Oh, look at that. Now we get to see the Hollywood Tower Hotel. Looks like somebody's dropping in. <laughs> oh, did Ep I mean, Hollywood Studios close? Because look at everyone boarding the boat back there. That's a big line for the boat. Yeah, Magic Kingdom fireworks ahead of us. Oh, look at that gray, gray sky. That's cool. See some fireworks glistering. Glistering. <laughs> glistering. <laughs> Glycerine! <laughs> We're making our way into Epcot now. Look at everyone on the bridge. Hi, friends! Hello! <laughs> We're passing underneath the Skyliner and look at the Eiffel Tower there. Oh, wow, this is it. We're getting ready to line up. And here we are. Now we're just waiting on the fireworks. Less than 10 minutes to go. Just sitting here in a boat about to watch Epcot Forever. I think it's really cool. I actually like it. And I like that the music is really loud. Just sitting here in a boat. <laughs> it, kinda... <laughs> it does gotta go with that. <laughs> Only uh, seven minutes to go. I am so excited. Like this is really, really fun. A unique way to possibly say farewell to Epcot Forever because I don't know if we're gonna be back.
veggie, veggie, fruit, veggie, veggie, fruit, fruit. Now we're heading back to the resort, but that was amazing. I loved it. It was so good to see Epcot Forever like that. And I guess with that, we are gonna call it a night here. What an amazing day. I had so much fun and I'm just so happy to be here in Florida and having the ability to actually come do these things. Uh, a friend of ours actually rented the cruise uh, for the fireworks, the firework cruise, and it's one set price for up to eight people. So he invited a bunch of people and uh, we all had a great time and it was a lot of fun and it was a great way to cap off a uh, great restaurant reopening or a uh, restaurant opening. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.